Moog have just released their very first VST plugins based on Bob Moog's Moger Foger effects pedals. It's a bundle of seven plugins that not only sound amazing, but are faithfully recreated from the originals by the original manufacturer. So I think it's safe to assume that these couldn't possibly be any more faithful than they are right now. However, the Moog team have been very generous and added not only CV interconnectivity in your DAW between these plugins, but they've also added some new features as well. It's all coming up, so let's get into it. Hey, what's up producers? Joshua Casper here with Plugin Boutique. And in this video, I'm gonna do a run through of some of the highlights and a review of the key features of this new Moger Foger S series suite of plugins. However, for those looking for more, I'll be doing a full length live stream with Moog's software engineer and product manager, Gert Bevan. Join us as he does a full on masterclass in regards to these VSTs, at which time, of course, you can ask one of the most qualified people in the business any of your questions and have them answer answered and possibly demonstrated in real time on that live stream. Now let's talk Mogerfoger. The plugins currently come in a bundle of seven. There's the MF-101 Low Pass Filter, the classic Moog ladder filter with an envelope follower for dynamic control. The MF-102 Ring Modulator, which pairs a wide range carrier oscillator with an LFO for effects from soft tremolo through far out clangorous ring modulating tones. The MF-103 is a 12 stage Phaser, a descendant of the original 1970s rack-mounted Moog Phaser with an onboard LFO. The MF-104 is an analog delay which has a rich full-body delay and modulation circuit that has remained highly sought after to this day. The MF-105 is the MURF, a groundbreaking effect combining a resonant filter bank with a pattern generator and skewing envelope for vibrant animation of incoming sounds. The MF-107 Freak Box is a box of gnarly synced VCO sounds with an envelope and FM modulation capabilities. And finally, there's the MF-108 Cluster Flux, a flexible processor that can modulate between chorus, flanging, and vibrato. Now, I think the biggest draw here is getting that world-renowned Moog character from these VSTs, but that's not all by any stretch. One of the coolest and most unique features of these plugins, one that I think a lot of you familiar with Moog are going to love, is that you have control voltage or CV options interconnected to each one of the various VSTs, whatever you have loaded inside of your project. Each of the VSTs has a CV panel, which can be exposed by clicking this button here. Now, by clicking anywhere inside of here, you can connect to any of the other Moger Foger plugins present in your project and use them as modulation sources. You have a few options depending on which module you're connecting to and things like DC and side chaining available. You can also use more than one instance of each of the plugins in your project as well. So each instance gets a unique serial number attached to it, which you can see here, and you can use that to identify which one you're trying to connect to. So as an example, let's have the LFO of the MF-102S, or that ring modulator, control the cutoff of the MF-101S, which is a filter. Simply open the 101S, then open that CV window, then just click the hole above the cutoff parameter and choose the LFO from the 102S, making sure the serial number is the correct one if you have more than one in your project. And there we go. Now we are modulating that parameter based on the 102's LFO. Which we can also make bipolar in that same menu if we want and just tone it in by using sync, unsync, adjusting our parameters and so forth. There are also a number of modern features added to these VSTs. To access those, all you need to do is simply hit the cog wheel in the upper right hand corner of the VST to access the settings menu. Now, as I said, this is just an announcement. For those looking to dive deeper into the Moger Foger series, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss that upcoming live stream. If you are a person from the future, please check out our live stream archive to watch the full stream there. It's gonna stay there until the end of time. And as always, links to everything in the video description. I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you